What's up, everybody, and welcome back to some more Rise of the Ronin. Today, we are picking up right where we left off. We finally made it to Yokohama, and we uh, we went into the Mizu Miyazaki area, uh, the Pleasure District. We met up with one of the uh, geisha, I think it was. So it's kind of like a, a host. Um, she gave us some information, and then now we're meeting up with our boy Ryoma. Uh, who is a interesting character so far, uh, but he's been pretty cool. He's like one of the only allies we have so far. Um, I am going to try to do some other quests, see if we can get some other allies unlocked, and then whatever else the uh, is available, I, re I guess. Um, looks like this can't be changed right now. I was going to go look at my armor and weapons. Uh, right now, we're still using the polearm and the katana. Still very low on levels, so I haven't got like a ton of new abilities just yet. Um, the one big thing with this game is you got to get counters down. Otherwise, you got to be very, very aggressive with combat. And uh, it's been an adjustment. It's definitely been an adjustment. But we're going to jump right into this, get this quest started, see what's going on here, and then kind of take it from there. As always, if you guys end up enjoying this, leaving a like on the video makes a huge difference. And if we get to 20 or more, uh, I will go ahead and do a full series of this every time we hit that goal. So, I think we're about ready. Let's get into it. Let's get started and uh, see where this goes today. Let's talk to Ryoma. So you're done for the night, are you? I guess so. Yeah, it's been pretty cool. And I didn't realize that this game was like a full-on RPG uh, with creating your own character and dialogue choices, too. I, I had no idea about that side of things. You find where uh, Yoshida is? No, it was a dead end. This is a place where people know things, but tonight I got nothing. How about you? Have fun? Yeah, suppose so. Well, I'm glad I brought you then. Oh. By the I way, guess that's, that means we increase bond. Loss. Turns out I know the person who owns the longhouse nearby. Even Ronin like you need a place to sleep, right? I'll head over and procure a room. Come check it out later, won't you? Okay. Follow your blade twin, head to the longhouse. We'll make our way there. Yeah, the controls have still definitely been an adjustment while playing this. Um, especially with, like, counter being on one side. Like, counter is triangle, but then also um, block is L1. And then R1 changes your weapons and uses your abilities. So it's kind of all over the place. That's kind of been the, the hardest part, too. Uh, let me actually activate this. Oh, nice. Yo, sick. Wait, that's actually awesome. Uh, so right there, I just converted the karma in this game, which is pretty much like the souls. Um, it's kind of like a hybrid between like an action combat game and a souls born game or souls like. Um, so what we did right there is all the karma, uh, which is the souls in this, was converted over into skill points. So now I can actually use that and upgrade. Um, and according to that too, we also got, yeah, we got one strength point and one dexterity point while doing that as well. So for instance, I should be able to upgrade one of these if it only requires one. Gives you the option to intimidate your interlocutor during conversation. See, I haven't had that yet. I, I don't know what the interlocutor is. Interlocutor? I guess we'll find out. We did get one dexterity, though, and there was something in here that I really wanted to unlock that required one dexterity. Here it is. Yes. Allows you to assassinate two enemies in quick succession. That way, if there's one guy close to another one, I can just take them out, like, at the same time. Be really nice to use. Combo critical hit enables an ally to follow up your critical hit with an additional critical hit. That sounds really good. Uh, yeah, I'm going to pick that up. 
upgraded allies. So Charm has a lot of abilities for allies, which is nice. Increased enemy coin acquisition or acquisition. Intellect allows you to fire a handgun while dodging. That would be kind of nice to have too, actually. I don't know if I really have a handgun right now, though. Um, sure, I'll get this, I guess. Sure, why not? We'll spend our first point there. And we got one skill point left. Use the grappling rope underwater. Huh, that's an ability. You can do a more powerful shuriken, okay. So I don't wanna to spend too much time doing these upgrades, but I'd rather get them out the way now. That way I can actually just, you know, do things as we progress. All right, I'll hold on to the one skill point. That's fine. So we need to make our way over here. There's another veiled thing over there. I said it yesterday too. The biggest fault for this game really is the the graphics. I would say um, it does look a little dated in some areas. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like an older Assassin's Creed game. But the gameplay feels pretty good. I have actually noticed a little bit of like stuttering here and there. So performance is it's a little rundown, but pretty decent, spacious but... inside. You can keep a change of clothes or anything you'd like here. I hope you'll find it useful. Head to the longhouse. Oh, okay. This is like a rest area, our own place. The longhouse is now available. People uh, with whom you have bond will visit you here. Strengthen your bond with individuals. You may want to talk to them or give them gifts. Longhouse is also a place where you can store items, add furniture, change your character appearance, or change the appearance of your equipment. Oh, sick. Oh, we got the <laughs> pre-order bonus. Oh, that's cool. That, I think that's the ninja guide and stuff. And we also, yeah, I did get the digital deluxe one, too. You know, it's not bad relaxing together wow. like this. What the heck? Oh, we get special st styles there, too? Storage is where you can store items or retrieve them. Got it. Remodel. Decorate your longhouse weapons. Oh, that's kind of cool. New effect drop. Whoa. Wait, so if you put weapons up here. Whoa, that's cool. So putting items up on here, remodeling your house has an effect with the world. There's a 0.2% chance that we get higher drop rate of weapons. Whatever I put up here. That's interesting. It was up, Drew. How long is the game's uh, main campaign? That I'm not 100% sure. It might. Yeah, I can't really. I can't really say. I I'm really not sure. My guess is it's probably like a 30, 40 hour game. But even that is really just a guess. All right, I'm gonna put put a katana up there. Accessories. I have nothing to put there. Does putting armor here do anything? No, not really. Okay. Fresh start. Nice. We got an achievement. Rest. Blade repair. Redesign. Oh, re I think redesign is what uh, alters. Yep. As long as you have obtained a piece of equipment once, you can alter its appearance at any time when it is not in your possession. That's cool. So you can you can literally just change the look of your guy at any time. Western sets. <laughs> Military uniform sets. 
Honestly, these all look sick. I might... Dude, that fits so well with the tattoo that I got on his arm. You can do... So you can either do full sets. You can also do uh, none at all. Or like one by one. Japanese formal hat. Honestly, I might go with this. Because why not? For right now, at least. Primary weapon. So we can also change the look of the katanas. We can use wooden ones. That's kind of funny. Uh, how do you use save? Save. Right now, the game's only available on PS5. Unfortunately, I, I would love to play this game on PC, but yeah, you can only play it on PS5. It'll probably come eventually, though. All right, let's see if I can talk to him. Let's have a little chat. Have a little chat. Interacting with people. There are several options available when you interact with people at your base. You can ask for views on times, learn about their personal history, and increase your intimacy by giving them gifts. Hey. Uh, I'll give them something. What do I have? Oh. Give to someone who likes cats and children to strengthen your bond with that person. Oh? What's that? Uh, why'd you want run away from Tosa? I wanted to do something about this country. There's only so much that can be done in Tosa, you know. And I'm trying to do what's best for the whole of Japan. Mm. That might not mean what's best for Tosa. If I hadn't left, it might have meant trouble for my family. I didn't really have a choice. Change the topic. Alright, that's all I can ask him. Ah, is that so? Yep. That is so. Okay. And you can also co-op with other people from here. Also, Drew, thanks for the follow there. Right. Let's go. Appreciate it. Pretty handy, right? You can use it how you like. I'll pop in every now and then. From now on, I'll tell everyone that this is where we're staying. <laughs> that should make things a little livelier. Well, that's it for you and me tonight. But I'm going to keep searching for leads on Master Showin's location. Uh, thanks for finding this place. Come on, no need to get all polite. Think nothing of it. I know you've got my back, too. That's cool. Oh, wait a second. I wanted to give you this. Uh, what is it? It's a pocket watch. Now you can check the time anytime. Hope you don't mind that it's slightly used. I think you'll still find it handy. Well, see you around. Okay. So we got a bunch of menu screen combat styles. The requirements for learning combat styles can be viewed from the menu combat style screen. It can also be learned by strengthening your bond with various people or defeating certain fugitives. Yeah, so we did get a bunch of different styles now. Now, do you like a quick equip them or something? Like we got this Hayabusa one. This is the default style. Oh, that's pretty sick. Suplex? <laughs> oh my god. That's all for the polearm. Switching styles. Oh, here we go. Uh, you can set up three different fighting styles for each of your primary weapons with equipment. Besides having different martial skills and counter spark abilities, the Ten Chi and Jin style uh, types are each effective against different weapons. Master each style to fight more efficiently. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. 
So like right here, you can equip the different styles. Oh, that's sick. Oh, wow. The katana, we have like, geez. We have so many different styles for the katanas. So you can do the suplex on both of them. There's a Neo style, and then there's this. Upgraded with Master. What is this one? Yeah, I didn't know there was like all different styles that you could do too. Honestly, I might switch this one to... This and this. And we did get a little bit of a better pull arm. So go with this thing. And I think I got a better katana as well. Yep. Right there. Using that right now. I'll actually throw this on. Oh, sick. So now it doesn't matter what I'm wearing. Really. Wait, unlock. Unlock. What does this do? I don't know what this is doing right now. It says unlocking, but... Sweet. There we go. Switch combat styles with R1 and then... Oh, okay. That's how you switch styles. Oh, you move it. Jeez. There's... Honestly, the biggest thing with this game is there's so many different keybinds that do different things. Or not even keybinds, but... Buttons. That do similar things or... Or, I don't know. They're all just, like, so close to each other. At least I feel like... All right, there was somebody over here, the Bad Bunch. I forget what kind of mission this is again. Bond level. So some of these I know, I think if I did this, I would potentially get a second person explanation. Let me see. Bond mission, grass, okay, yep specific characters honestly yeah let's go do that let's go do that before we go oh wait no never mind let's not go do that because that's level four i'll do this one first once i get a little bit of a higher level then i'll head there i think i am level four right now though so we've heard reports you're making very <gasps> dubious items Let's raise the banner. Oi, open this door. Hello, sir. Oh, this is the guy that wanted my permit oh, earlier. You? I think. What are you doing here? You look shady to me. Out with it. What's so shady about Who me? Who are you? We're under strict orders from Lord E to arrest anyone suspicious. Oh, okay. Here we go. Do you want your blood on my blade? So there's intimidate, leave in peace, use the. I'm working for the commissar. Use speechcraft, liar. But I pay pay you to ignore me. Persuade, not learned. Let's do the liar one. Are you indeed? In that case, we're here for the same reason. Keep an eye out for any miscreants. You hear? We can leave this place to them. Let's continue our patrol. Okay. Wow, that actually worked. That was a big help. Hold on, let me see. I, I know there's a way you can actually hide the helmet. I kind of want to do that. Uh, hide headgear on. 
Wait. Oh, show headgear. There we go. Off. Yeah, I think it looks way better without that thing I on. Owe you. Those nitwits. They think cameras are some kind of weapon. The I'd tattoo like is sick, too. But I'm afraid my camera is broken. It means I can't earn anything. How is it, Igashichi? Got it working again? I'm afraid not. Without the schematic, I'm at the end of my rope. Ugh, curse those dumped thieves. Are you serious? This isn't good. Those thags have no idea of the value of what they've stolen. But I can hardly just go and ask for them back. Uh, wait. Is that my glider prototype you have there? You managed to get it back from those thieves! Most impressive! Could it work? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, but it might! I can see it all in my head. The perfect plan. I need those schematics back. And if you help me, I'll give you a camera. Sound good? Sure. I'm in. A clear and rational response. You must have the inventor's spirit. Those thieves have a base in the Mitre Castle ruins, but we can't just stroll straight in. Head to the Temple Hall nearby. Oh, dear. <laughs> I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Igashichi Izuka. Back home in Hitachi, I'm known as Igashichi the Tinkerer. Well, I shall see you there. Dear me. Seems he's fired up once again. Well... Please do what you can to help him. Nice. Yeah, that looks sick. I love how his right arm is open like that, so it fits perfect with this outfit right here. Listen to his request at the castle. God, that's so far away. The hell? Oh, that opened up a bunch of other uh, quests for me to do, too. All right, before we go over there, let's actually clear out this area real quick because we haven't done any combat, and I'm sure people are waiting on that. So we can go knock this out first. It's going to take me a second. It, let me tell it's it, This game is an absolute adjustment for combat. So, yeah, yeah. Actually, grab this real quick. Good there. Alright. Turn this around. Chat, once again, thank you for all the likes so far. Regardless of whatever platform you're watching on. Oh, God. You realize these were the hostile ones. Okay. What am I collecting from the chickens? The heck? So I don't know if that... Yeah, that wasn't the... The order I was supposed to do. Here it is. This is the one. These guys. Okay, I'm trying to remember how to change styles. Got it. I'm not sure if there's a better way, better way to get all the way up there. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, come on.
The enemy is in control of this area. Can I actually jump? Oh, oh that wasn't a good idea. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Getting the counters down still something else. Oh, I almost died there. This guy's been shooting at me with those freaking hour arrows for so <laughs> one of these days. There we go. Jeez. We got it this time. Fugitives from the law of the uh, Shogunite can be found throughout the land. Not too bad. It's every time I get into combat, it's such an adjustment. There's the katana. Okay. Just trying to remember the key binds and everything. The cool thing with the katana is I have four, no, three different fighting styles now. Okay, we're good there. Let's try getting back out there again. So now I think it opened up that, yep. There's a, uh, a rest point right here. Oh, it's up top. What the heck is that? What is that? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, oh, that's kind of cool. That's interesting. You just like grab onto it and it, and it flings you. Okay. Let's try to go do this. If I discover anything on the way, I'll try to I'll check it out too. Cuz I do need to level up a little bit more. Nice. Not too bad off to a decent start so far this game is is definitely it's cool like the combat is the biggest thing is an adjustment trying to get used to that um the big the hardest part about the combat is when you press counter you have to do it the second they hit you not like a second before uh which really throws it off because like you really don't know if they're actually about to hit or not it's so hard to tell the timing for a lot of enemies. And that's been like the biggest struggle. I wonder if there's a way I can... Uh... Oh, let's see. Oh, both of these are not good. Direct. 
Oh, here we go. Got him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen. Dude, I can't get out of it. Holy jeez. It's a little close there. A little close. Okay. Got another skill point though, and we're each level five. Not too bad. I think that's another thing that kind of adds to the difficulty a lot is this game early on, you really have like no abilities to use. So like I'm just spamming the same thing over and over again. A lot of times. I don't know why you have to unlock these. What does this do? Got a new, uh, new rifle. You get so much new gear too. Take that. All right, let me check my skills real fast. That's got four skill points right now. Farm counter spark midair. Increased critical hit damage. Wouldn't mind that. I feel like I should get that. Grappling Rope Assassin? Okay, that's actually pretty sick. Wait. Uh, yeah, I'm getting that. What the heck? I didn't even know that was a thing. I haven't really, like, looked through the skill trees, like, one by one to decide what I wanted to do. I've kind of just been picking and choosing because it's hard to tell, like, which ones you can get right away and which ones you can't. something over here so many items right here right now all right let's try doing this mission hello sir Tosin, he needs to be taught a lesson hey you you look like trouble you might be just who I'm looking for. Rough someone up for me, and I'll make it worth your while. You interested? Oh. Tell me more. There's this real piece of work who swindled me out of some money. I saw him hanging around the waste ground up ahead. Come on, go and rough him up, will you? I'll make it worth your while. All right, I'll do it. Much I don't obliged. need much convincing. I knew you wouldn't let me down. <laughs> <laughs> Mission start the bad bunch. Head to the villain's location. Or location. Let's see what we got here. Oh. 
All right, I want to turn the uh, so I there's an option that I disabled that for combat it doesn't automatically target the enemy. I think I'm gonna turn that back on though, depending on where it's at. Controls, yeah, automatically lock on. There we go. What the hell are you doing here? Someone with a grudge against you asked me to uh, asked me to help them. Hey, you've got it all wrong. It isn't my fault. I'm innocent. I tell you. That's why. Oh, you this let was me the guy before. in the picture. Boy, for the quest. You had a reason for letting me live. So why not team up with me? I, I promise you oh. won't regret it. This is the guy that was annoying as hell to try to defeat. All right, let's do it. Team up. <laughs> oh, that's great. After all, we are old friends by now. Let's do this. Oh, that's kind of cool. Defeat the suspicious looking men. Man, they always get up onto the roof and I'm it's always hard for me to get up there. Oh there we go. <laughs> <laughs> But a pitiful wretch. Even still, you are incredible. Where'd you learn to fight like that? Give me a shout if something big comes along. Or come frying. You can count on it. Sick. Okay. So I think now we can use him as like a companion for like any of the, the big missions that we have to do. Yep. Bond established. There we go. Mission complete. Okay. Got a bunch of bond with him. And we got a bunch of items too. From doing that. There's another bond mission right there. And a side mission down here. Let's actually go do this one. And we got another skill point too. Starting to get a decent amount of skill points at least. I really wish there was a skill point to open up the window for count for countering. Cause it's just like, ugh, it's still rough. If it, if it was like a millisecond before they attack, I feel like I could do it. But right now, with it being exactly the second that they hit you, that's just, it, it's difficult. Definitely difficult. What is this guy? Does he sell weapons, firearm training? All right, let's just go to the next objective. There's definitely a lot to do here though. 
a decent amount. Raise the banner. Uh, you good, sir? Are you a samurai? You must help me. For an appropriate reward, of course. Though you might not think it to look at me. I have plenty of coin. Believe me. I'm a merchant from Great Britain. Now, I recently located some coal in the cave over there. But as soon as I had, a band of brigands popped out of the woodwork and stripped me of everything I had. They're still in there, now. I won't stand for it. I won't let them have my coal, my possessions, or my blasted clothes. Pray, could you go into the cave and fetch them for me? I'll do it. Much obliged. Retrieve the mysterious foreigner's luggage. Gather coal. All right, let's go get it. Some of these quests have been like, oh, like okay. I really want to see where like the main story goes. I mean, granted, right now I am doing side stuff. But I've heard like decent things about the main story. Bionic, yo, thank you for the sub there. Thank you very much. Oh. Damn that that took his head off. <laughs> Mucho. Maybe the follow there too. I wish there was like a, I'm surprised this game doesn't have like a scan ability for you to be able to look around. It's no idea. Give it a second. Now. Got him. Where are you at? What the heck? I think it's got some range. I almost completely missed that guy. All right, we got all the items. Except for the luggage. do that mysterious foreigners luggage there we go this mission right here kind of reminds me a lot of like some of the newer assassin's creed games i'd say where you go into an area just kill a bunch of enemies grab an item and then go return it back to the owner make our way there we keep getting so much gear and items too but like i don't know what to do with it i mean i'll equip the best thing that i have available and then i guess just sell it i guess let's 
talk to him. Chat, once again, thank you for all the likes so far. Of course, my wallet's been emptied. Got of all the... Those, those wretched brutes. Ah, I forget myself. Allow me to thank you. My name is Marcus Samuel, and you have my heartfelt gratitude. I'd hope to reward you here and now, but I'm afraid those thieves have made that impossible. Would you be willing to come and see me at Yokohama Grand Villa? You'll be generously remunerated, I assure you. I really am telling you the truth, you know. Uh... Sure about that? Trying to get, get out of paying me? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Wouldn't bother what? me. But then why would you stick your neck out for me? Because I'm a nice guy. You needed help. I see. Well, you have my thanks. I promise your reward will be handsome indeed. Okay. I think we... Yep, we got him. Bond established. Marcus Samuel. Cool. Now that we got that, let's see. Did I already get this banner down here? I think so. So, actually, let me try enabling this. Auto sell. We'll just do auto sell standard. So that means anytime I go to a banner. Yo, B42, what's up? Hello, hello. What's up, Caleb? What's up, Captain? Good morning, good morning. Hello. We're checking out uh, some more Rise of the Ronin today. It's been pretty interesting so far. <laughs> Definitely interesting. It's an adjustment. It's like a hybrid between, I would say, Ghost of Tsushima and like a Souls-like game. Um, but the counter is very unforgiving with with this game, which is the hardest part so far. Uh, yo, what's up, FPS? Hello, hello. Game looks interesting. Yeah, it's it has a cool look to it. Um, there's some areas that don't look too great, to be honest, but. It's still, you know, it's still, it's still cool. I'm gonna actually pick this up. Increase the maximum key damage you can deal to surrounding upon its successful assassination, making enemies therein more susceptible to cowering. I like that. I like that ability. Yeah, it's, it's weird because, I mean, yes, you can, you still gain XP, you still gain, like, uh, Karma, which is like the souls in a way, but at the same time, it's not that unfor like it's not that unforgiving. Where like I don't know, it, it seems like it's pretty easy to go back. I kind of wish that they just leaned more towards the just action combat rather than having something like that in place because it's there's a lot of cool stuff here. Um. And it's not, there's no way that this isn't a perfect game, but it's still a pretty interesting game. But yo, thank you B42. I appreciate the raid there. Hope you're all having a good, uh, good Saturday morning. I'm playing some Dragon's Dogma as well, which I'm, I'm looking forward to going back to later on. All right, we need to find the opening here. I go take out this, uh, Clear out this outpost, wherever this is. There it is. Oh! Got him last second. All right, let's try going up top a little bit higher. Uh-oh.
Well, I don't... It doesn't matter. I shouldn't go up there yet. It's a big guy. No! Jeez. It's so hard to get down the timing. I don't get it, man. There it is. Whew. The thing, the one of the biggest things that I kind of don't like about this game is how little health you have. So you have to constantly like pay attention to where you're at. It's it can be a little bit uh, a little tough. There we go. Okay. I am the more I play, the more comfortable I get with the combat though. So there's just some points where it's it's very up in the air and I don't know what to expect and there's other times it's like okay that, this is doable. Nice. We automatically got the banner up here. And we got some wow, I got a bunch of skill points from that right there. So that was kind of worth doing. Kind of makes me want to go back over here and do that one too. You know what? We can do that. I'll fast travel over here. And for those of you watching on TikTok, this is Rise of the Ronin. Uh, let's take away this marker here. Thank you for all the likes again so far. We got a new Odachi. Get rid of this. So you have rarity and level. Oh, I should have been at <laughs> looking at level, not rarity. I don't know why I was looking at rarity. Do I have a better pole arm at all? I do. Oh, yeah. It's a little bit better. Katana. I mean, I could swap in these other ones. Try a saber instead. Only thing is, I, I only have one saber style. There's paired swords. I feel like I, I gotta keep the uh, katana equipped. Because the katana has the most amount of styles for me right now. Sub weapons. This one's way better. This new gun is way better. Uh, you lose less karma with this outfit. Whoa, what is that? The 
take that one. Use to move time forward. There's so many items here. <laughs> hey, what's up, Sizzle? This game like Souls like? Yeah, it's a it's a hybrid. It, it's definitely a hybrid between like a Souls like and uh like it goes to Tsushima in a way. It's definitely harder though. Getting Neo vibes? Yeah, I never played Neo before. I, I've always wanted to try it. Um, the, the hardest part with this game so far is really the, the combo, or I mean, not the combo, the uh, the counter. And the, the, the buttons are all over the place because there's like, it is not simple. You have different fight styles. On top of that, you have different weapons. Then you can also add in a companion and you can swap between companions. And then you also have a blocking feature that's different from the counter feature that's different from the abilities that you can do with your weapons. It's very convoluted. So it's an, it's an adjustment. You do not want to try Neo. I've wanted to try Neo. It might be a one and done and never play it again, but I have uh, I have the the other one. All right, let's try this. up sir okay. you're kidding damn there we go oh he was the fugitive All right, let me try to get these guys. Oh, okay. I'm getting the hang of it a little better. Who is this? There may be times where other Ronin have been held captive in unruly areas. Rescue them to help them or restore public order. Oh, that's cool. Wandering swordsmen. Ah. Wait, is that another player? I think it's just a, a bot, but that's kind of cool. Yeah, I keep forgetting that this game is co-op, but I, I just hate the fact that it, it requires uh, it requires PlayStation Plus to be able to play co-op. Like if it, if it didn't, you know, require it, then I, I wouldn't, or I, I would probably try it at least. Yo, Annabelle, good morning. Also, hello, hello. Thank you for the heart me there. NK subs equals 24 hour Neo live stream. I don't think I would, I don't think I would survive. <laughs> yeah, thank you for the three roses there too. What is this? All right, we can try this one. I'll do this. Right now, I'm kind of just doing these extra objectives just to prepare myself a little bit more for main quests. 
So I added, I, it, this is actually really nice. I uh, little background detail, but I found a way on how to combine all chats. Uh, typically I have every chat open separately so that way I can see it like native, but I found a way to combine. It literally combines everything, which is sick. TikTok into everything. YouTube, Twitch, pick everything all at once. And it's made it so much easier. I just got to move it a little bit closer so that way I can actually see it better. Oh, I missed. Dude, the last time this thing wrecked me. The boars are harder than any boss I've fought in so far. Or fought. No way that got censored. <laughs> That's so weird why that happens. It's literally there's no rhyme or reason for all types of stuff that TikTok censors. Oh my god, there was a weapon I could have used back there. Or an environment thing. Watase is Simon. It is. Don't be mean to the pig. What the? <laughs> Why would it do? Oh, I, dude, I don't get it. I I really don't. There's, maybe TikTok considers pig jokes jokes as fat jokes. <laughs> But even that, that's some crazy, like, assumptions right there. Sag, true. <laughs> Got a few enemies in here. Let's see if I can get them. Oh, okay. Of course, there's only one opening to this. Wait, I wasn't even going the right way. I thought I was going the right way. I'm over here. I thought I was over here. No. Are you kidding me? There really is only one way in. All right, well, let me use this first. Okay, maybe you can't see me. Oh, okay, never mind. Ooh, uh oh. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
There we go. Okay. That one wasn't too bad there. We get so many items from that. Karma converted. Nice. We got new skill points too. Love that. Can you bring... Uh, see, that's the one thing is I wish you could bring your allies with you for like other missions. Like, I, I wish I could have so an ally join me at all times, not just like for specific missions. Full sprint. Oh, you need four dexterity points for that one. There's a full sprint assassination. That would be so cool. I would love that, actually. Increase the number of arrows replenished when auto refill is activated. I haven't found a bow yet. Aerial attack. Yo, thank you for the five sushis. That's interesting. <laughs> I haven't seen that one before. Thank you. Thank you, though. Appreciate it. Increase the amount of key recovered by a blade flash. Pick that up. Amount gained by your blood gauge when attacking an enemy increase increase the blood gauge. Additional item drop. Additional item drop from enemies. All right, I'm picking this one up. Beast Whisperer. Various beasts will have a harder time. Sneak up from behind and press trial to tame. Prior the rate, uh, increase the rate of area bonds you can acquire. I'm going to do this. All right, and then I got... They'll have one strength and one dexterity point. Most of the abilities don't require dexterity, though. It's only when you get clo uh, lower headshot attack. If I had a bow, I'd probably use it. I'll do this. Increase the bow's firing speed and increase the damage dealt by arrows fired upon. Uh, there's refill, headshot, and then arrow recovery. All right, now we got one more point for this. Oh, nice. We can get Persuade now. Oh, that's what it means. So when it says level two out of three, you can increase, you can upgrade that ability. I didn't realize that. Okay. You know, that makes sense, but I wasn't sure. Weakens the morale of enemy groups after you defeated its leader. Oh, I need to get that ability. That intimidation one. Okay. That's good to know now. You know what? Let's go over here. Before we go to the next main objective, one more one more detour. I need to see coin. I can uh, take a picture of him later. He's a little monster. Some days he's a teddy bear. Some days he's a little terrorizer.
This area seems a little cool. Yeah, I need to move my uh, chat a little bit closer. Oh, I heard a, a calico cat. I keep hearing it. I think he's up on that ledge. <laughs> I did meow back to it. I don't think I'll be able to reach it from here. Oh. That's where I came from. Maybe we need something else to be able to get there. So I am going to change course and go back to the main story. I will say the more I play of this, the more into it I I get. Because I I mean still not the biggest fan of the counter thing like that's it's more of an annoyance than like fun with it being so sensitive but i am getting better at switching between styles and weapons and becoming more familiar with like how to deal with certain enemy types like if they're a heavy hitter or like i'm just always hyper focused on my health too like anytime we enter combat, I'm staring at my health. Yeah, it's like chugging right there. It's weird. All right, what have we got here? Oh, it's this guy. Listen up. Here's the plan. Those bandits are holed up in the castle. If we march straight up to the front door, it will be suicide. Luckily, we can use my prototype to glide in from here. Once you are in there, you simply need to retrieve my blueprints. Shall we get started? Are you ready to take the disguise? Uh, I think I'm ready. Chat, once again, oh, thank you for all the nice. likes so far. Now, just to relax. I've never tested it, but the science behind it is impeccable. I'm afraid I can't come to your aid if you are apprehended, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Best of luck. Okay. Oh, sweet. Yeah, so this time it's automatically allowing me to use allies. Two. So we got Ryoma and Gonzo. Now, you could do co-op, but unfortunately, what happens if I do hit it? But I'll call for co-op to work on the uh, support. Respond to a call for co-op to earn various blessings. Recruit backup. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> That's why I was like, what happens here? It opens up PlayStation Plus. It's like, you need to subscribe today. No, thank you. Hey, thanks, but no thanks.
Or we got a better pole arm too. It's crazy how fast you get new weapons. I I actually can't keep up with it. These come in insanely fast. Yeah, so the green's a little bit better than the uh, the other ones. Does it actually tell you? Oh, equipment presets, that's a thing. Huh. All right. Uh, chat, one second, but right before we run this mission, I'm just gonna run to the bathroom real quick and we are good to go. us okay dang the camera wait so my level is is eight right now it says mission level five player level eight do it. This is gonna be kind of cool having so two allies. Get started or what? Glide into the castle ruins. I'm ready for action. Let's hit it. Kind of cool. Correct. All right, optional defeat two formidable foes. Oh, hold on, hold on, sir. Got a skill point already. Oh, I think this guy is one of the formidable foes. Yep, he's one. I hate how it's so hard to get up there. Who the hell are you? Trying to steal my treasure, are you? 
exactly what we're here to do, so. Oh, jeez. Oh! Oh, I'm dead. Oh, jeez. That was a big man. Holy. He wasn't the other formidable foe? Really? Oh, it's this guy. Now we got it. All right. Let's go back up there. Use the storehouse key. Oh, that was pretty easy. So you were spotted by the bandits, but still managed to prevail. Magnificent! I saw those wretches fleeing for their lives. Oh, my blueprints! Thank you! I was worried that those delinquents might have disposed of them. Now I'll finally be able to show the studio now what I can do. Here's the prototype I promised you. Take it. See you around. Hold on, hold on. Make sure you use it. You hear? Your banter sound all around you. Now, I believe there's an elevated area in these grounds. Why not try taking a picture from there? Follow me. Contain the this old way. camera. Follow me. This used to be a fine Yeah, I wish you could bring the, the uh, companions with you. Decided. Like out in but the world, that'd be kind of cool. Behind it. All right, where are we headed, sir? It's pretty much th this game's Over version here. of Leonardo da Vinci. Very well. <laughs> it's time to give that camera a go. Don't be shy. Right here. Ah, oh, I know. The temple hall where we met is the perfect spot for a photograph. I got it. Perfect. Impressive, no? And this is just a bit. Yeah, sure. There are so many improvements I want to make. Ah, speaking of which, I must go. I have a camera I need to fix. <laughs> the fellow who runs that place has a temper, you see. Anyway, I'll be in Yokohama for a while. It's the place to be for anyone keen to learn more about foreign ideas and inventions. Remember, it's not just cameras I double in. If ever I can assist you in some way, just let me know. Okay. See you around. Or actually, understood. Wonderful! I would be delighted to help. And I have a feeling you will put my devices to good use. Is it I'm worth it? In the photographic Got Dragon's Dogma, but I haven't pulled. Feel free to come and see me anytime. 
there are all sorts of improvements I want to make to that camera. One sec. So don't be a stranger, you hear? Okay. Yeah. Yes and no. Yes, if you're looking for uh, another game, I think it's worth checking out. Um, it's ha It has a lot to do. I, I will be honest, I, I've also been playing Dragon's Dogma as well. Dragon's Dogma has more, like, I, I kind of, although the, the setting and everything with this game is really cool, personally, I think the combat and everything with, with Dragon's Dogma is more along my lines right now. Um, but I also love this style and everything, so... If I had to choose one or the other, I would probably choose Dragon's Dogma too. But this is still a lot of uh, fun so far. The hardest thing though is still that countering. If you like a hybrid Souls, like a Souls game, uh, then you'll probably enjoy this. If you're someone who doesn't really play as many Souls-like games, it's an adjustment to this. And there's also, a, it's very complex for the for the combat. More than I initially thought. Now, I'm, I'm definitely picking it up a little bit more. The more I've been playing. But without a doubt, it's a bit of a struggle. I'm, I'm going to be honest, too. Like, I don't, it doesn't, I don't personally don't really care. But I did have to bump it down to the easier difficulty. Because normal was just so... If you don't get the counters, you're dead, pretty much. Like, if you don't time the, the counter at the exact second that they hit you, you're dead, you're stun locked and everything, and it's just not not a good time. Um, But on easy or the dust quant difficulty, you're able to at least, like, survive long enough. And it's still pretty difficult, so... I loved Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, I, I loved Ghost of Tsushima as well. This isn't really a Ghost of Tsushima game, though. I mean, it's close to it, but really the closest thing is just the setting, maybe. Um, let's see. I guess we'll go back. Yeah, we'll just continue on with the main story here. If you were to compare gameplay, what would it come close to? I would probably, so like, I would probably still say it's closer to Ghost of Tsushima, but it plays differently than what I remember. It's, it's hard to explain. It's so, because here's the thing, right? Like Ghost of Tsushima, you, you have pretty much one button, right? You, you press the one that does the attack and then you also have like a block and that's it, right? But in this game, you don't have just that. You have that along with different styles. Uh, you also have two different weapons you can equip at the same time. And you have to do this all while you're fighting an enemy trying to figure that out then you also have your your guns i would almost say like it's a high the combat i would say is almost like yakuza in a way and ghost of tsushima because of the different fighting styles and then you add in extra companions and you can swap between the companions too are the graphics are not the best yet yeah, the graphics in some areas look a little rough not gonna lie um like this ground right here if i run out onto the street outside of here that's pretty much it, it's very bare right now i'm kind of in one of the better looking parts of this area Please. this way but yeah well i see you've acquired a camera i knew i could rely on you now if i may I would like to ask you to take some photographs for me. Okay. 
I want to take a picture. I shall direct oh, I should have said that. Rooms. Be sure to capture the sheer energy of this place. I will await you in the central room upstairs. Like I've said, though, the more I've played, the more comfortable I'm getting and the more I'm kind of understanding how to deal with certain enemy types. I still wish that the counter window was just open a little bit more, or I wish there was an ability that you could get that would let you, like, give you an, an extra millisecond to be able to counter. Because that, that is where the game feels the best. When you do get that counter, and if you're able to master that, then the game just feels so good. How's the countering compared to Sekiro? I've never... Well, I've played Sekiro before, but not much of it. So that's probably my... Uh, you don't have to worry. We were just talking. I promise. I don't know if I can really make that comparison. To be honest. I don't remember it being as bad, though. In a way. Exactly, exactly. In other words, like Am I supposed to get over there? Try going up higher. I didn't know there was a banner here. I don't even know where I'm at. Look, I'll have some money very Might get this? Yeah, no problem. Thanks for stopping by. Can, you know. There's definitely a lot to do here. Try going back outside here. Hmm. Well done, 47. Yeah, I still think it's a it's a pretty good game. Like it's nothing it, it's not like a ten out of a ten, but it's definitely a solid one. You know, there's there's still a decent amount here that's that's fun and enjoyable. Hey, thank you for the follow there. Verk. You have the goods. But there seem to be more than usual. Well, I've built up a stockpile. I thought you might appreciate a little extra. Hey, Alright, we got the picks. This is huh? good. I get caught with Report your findings. Chat, once again, thank you for all the likes so far, regardless of where you're watching. I appreciate it as always. And if we get to the 20 likes on the video, then we'll uh, go ahead and put out more episodes of this as well. You work fast.
<laughs> you certainly know your way with a camera. Now, finally, I want you to go to the room down the hall. You will find a man named Kogoro Katsura there. He is rather intimidating, but I'm sure you can handle him. All right, lead me to it. Just make sure he doesn't notice you. Photograph the room down the hall. Well, I would have thought so too. So how are we so going to get that house? If you have any ideas, oh. speak up. If you had to put a percentage on how much this game resembles Ghost of Tsushima, how would how much would it be? Because I heard it's kind of Souls-like. It definitely is. It's not as unforgiving as a Souls-like game is. It really is a hybrid. I honestly would say like. Did you get your picture? One sec. Huh? Who are you? Come to the garden now. Drunk samurai. <laughs> I actually love this outfit I'm wearing right now. Admit it. You're a spy for the Shogunate, aren't you? I'll cut you down. I would probably say, though, like, 80 20 80 goes to Tsushima and like Yakuza combined and then 20% souls like actually got that there Nice. Uh, I'm actually getting these hits on him right now. Oh, I need a heal. There we go. I'm about to unleash my most deadly technique. <laughs> <sighs> Making me realize I need to do more of the main story. Well, well, look who it is. What uh, are you doing out here? Nothing important. Ah, oh no, did Katsura pick a fight with you? So you know him? Oh, I know him all right. Wait, my guy, this my guy is speaks. This the guy who's been helping me look for Master Showin. Katsura here is an old student and close friend of his. <laughs> this guy never learns. Just the other night, he got dead drunk and danced around naked before falling into a pond. I'm sorry. I had an important matter to look mm. into. Mm. <clears throat> All right. Look to the drinks. Oh. Look around on me. <laughs> oh, 
All that blood during the fight, no blood in the cutscene. Yeah, well, so the blood is a gameplay mechanic. So like right now you can kind of see my sword and the bottom right has a gauge that is full. So the way it works is when that gauge gets full, uh, you can like, sh like throw it in a way, like uh, swing it and it gets all the blood off and then it gives you like a bonus again. Uh, I forget. But it's part of the I gameplay mechanics. I can't see what all the fuss was about, but I see it was you and Mr. Katsura. Would you join me in my chambers? There is something I wish to share with you. Oh, thank you. What a wonderful picture. I can almost feel the life of this place. Now, where were we? Ah, oh, yes. The samurai who came aboard a black ship. When I last visited the American consulate, I heard an interesting tidbit. Apparently, that samurai is within the consulate itself. They say that samurai has a hand like a demon's claw and acts as Mr. Harris's personal guard. Uh, who's Mr. Harris? He came here to conclude an important treaty with our nation. Now I think of it, Kichi is on rather good terms with Mr. Harris. It may be worth speaking to her later. You take splendid pictures. You can stand up to Katsura. Is there anything you can't do? While I do still have some oh requests God, for I you keep missing it. for tonight, please enjoy your time here. Oh, we got a bond with her. Okay. All right, Taka. The more I do the main story stuff, I feel like I should continue to do more main story stuff. Hey! The Pleasure District is your first base. Oh. Your base will serve as a meeting place for various characters. Anybody catch your eye, try talking to them to strengthen your bond. That's pretty cool. Oh, we also got our first bow, too. Yeah, I'm going to definitely equip that. Well, we can do that in a sec. Oh, heading home, are you? I heard you're looking for someone who came on the black ships. Taka told me. So, did you find out anything? Oddly enough, like, the game, when you're out in the world, doesn't look, like, great at all times. But the cutscenes themselves actually look, like, pretty good. Not, like, insane. Not like next level or anything, but I think they do look good. Uh, did you find it? Yeah, I did. Sure. There you go. See, I told you this was the place to come. And there's more. I know there was that incident, but Kasura's a fellow worth knowing. He might well need your help with this and that. I recommend staying on his good side. I'll warrant his head's cleared by now, so maybe you should pay him a visit. Hmm. He's staying at the Sakura Inn. Head there now and you'll catch him. I bet he can help you find whoever it is you're looking for. I'm going to keep searching for Master Shoin. Once I find him, I'll introduce you. I promise. You okay. and I are true friends now. No cool. Someone needs assistance. Oh, we got a new bond mission. Okay. The bond missions I think are worth doing too, though. A little bit. Head to Sakura Inn. There's a... What kind of mission is this one again? Missions involving regular folk that you encounter. Oh, I have to increase my bond with this area to get this. Oh, it tells you beforehand, though. Oh, that's kind of nice. 
So, like, if I was missing a bond mission... Yeah, this is a grass folk one or whatever. Grass roots, that's what it's called. <laughs> and we also get another bond mission for doing that. Okay, cool. Yo. 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 Mr. Average with the 17 months. Thank you for the resub there, man. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. How's it going? Also, good morning. Hello. So we got, let's hand in these books, I think. Hmm. Uh, haven't we met somewhere? Oh yeah, it's the drunken <laughs> one. Huh? You want to cross swords again? Ryoma introduced me to you. Ah, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh -huh. uh, I was sure you were a spy for the Shogun, but it turned out you were a Roma. Sorry about all that. My memory is pretty hazy. Uh, had a few too many again, did you? Sadly, yes. And I ended up getting soundly beaten by our friend here. To be honest, I might have struggled even stone cold sober. Your skill with the sword is quite something, but you seem to be self-taught. I recommend you test your metal at a proper dojo. Ganzui here is off to do just that, and he's no slouch when it comes to his studies either. No wonder he's showing Yoshida's favorite. <laughs> This accursed city is full of outsiders acting like they own the place. Removing them from our land calls for force, not diplomacy. Now is the time to show the world the tenacity of our blades. In the name of this divine country. <sighs> there he goes again. I'm going gambling. <laughs> I've been rather short on coin of late. Well, I'm going gambling. Shinsaku. Show our guests some courtesy. Want to join me? You seem like a lucky sort. I get the feeling you survived a few scrapes you shouldn't have. Faction bases. Uh, in this time of national upheav upheaval, people tend to organize themselves into bases, compromising those who share pro and anti shogunite allegiances. As such, you'll note that the merchants who do business at such bases sell special items to members of their own faction. Those neutral, anti, and pro. Okay. That's pretty cool. Oh, so this one is anti shogunite. Got it. So where do we have to go next? I guess let me check my mission list. So that's the main story. We do have a decent amount of extra ones though. You can try these. The Way of the Warrior, Try Your Luck, and the Men of Tosa. These are all bond missions. do the way of the warrior first yeah now it's starting to really open up a good bit yeah that's awesome average i hope that went well man hope that was good wait can i go through here nope it's hard going from a game like dragon's dogma to this because not all the doors you can open up here like you can in Dragon's Dogma. And you call yourself a master? This is why we have foreigners walk. Oh, it's you. What do you want? Um, show me the skill with the sword. Show me your skill with the Very sword. Very well. Allow me to demonstrate the benefits of training in Edo. Go on, take up a sword. I will be your opponent. 
Ready yourself. Oh boy. Oh, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Did you come back against me? You know what you're doing, but you're no match. This training session is not over. I know what I'm up against. Oh, now the oh. real battle. Oh, I'm trying to heal. I'm trying to heal. Thank you very much. Truly, you are incredibly skilled. If ever you wish to train, feel free to come again. You are clearly gifted. Oh, thank you, sir. And nice, we fired another bond. I like doing the, uh, the those things. The training feature has been unlocked at the dojo. Visit dojos and defeat swordsmen in sparring matches to increase your combat style proficiency, as well as earn items and other rewards. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let me try that so, actually. What do you want to do? So you can like rain your or. Train your uh, proficiency Very for well. specific fighting styles. Let's see what you're capable of. Visit the dojo to take part in training sessions. Yep, got that. Oh, that's cool. It shows you what you get for certain tiers. I'm gonna you. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm better with this one. Ouch. Oh, it's out of stamina. Definitely getting the hang of it. Nice. Getting a feel for it. Not too bad. That one was good there. Time damage and technique. New record. First time. Oh, okay, cool. So you get like set bonuses and stuff. Yeah, we can fight Ryoma too. Let neither of us hold back. Might as well try this. Oh. 
I think selecting a fighting style that's proficient against somebody is makes a huge difference too. No way I'll embarrass myself in front of you. I saw my stamina. There it is. What can I say? You got me. Oh, we gain bond for doing that too. It's cool. All right, I think we're good here. I just want to kind of try that at least. Thanks for coming by. I look forward to honing your. Cool. Obtained gesture smoke bomb. <laughs> okay. Let's check the other. Missions we have available. Got to go all the way to the top. Try your luck. Yeah, we'll do this. Call in my horse. I need to, yeah, I keep getting so many items too that are lower than my suggestion. So I'm going to change this to superior auto sell. Oh, oh, stuck wrong way. Chad, again, thank you for all the likes so far, regardless of what platform you're watching on. I appreciate all the support as always. Hey. Let's raise the banner. That is so sad. I don't know why, but I love hearing that every time. So satisfying. Ah, I had a feeling you would come. <laughs> Let me show you the ropes. It's safer that way. Wander in alone, and you're sure to be ripped off. Okay. Appreciate it. I've got a feeling I'm going to win big. As long as you let me borrow some of your good luck, that is. I thought he was going to ask me to some money. Gambling. At gambling dens, you can expend tokens exchangeable for money to play odds and evens. During this game, you will choose whether the total per uh, produced by the dice roll is odd or even. Okay. Last 10 rolls. What is this? Wooden token? Do five? I guess. Play. Down goes the cup. Folks, come place your bets. Uh, even. You finished? Then betting is closed. The numbers are. No. Four and one odd. Wait. Oh, it is. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Guessed wrong. It, folks, come place your bets. Surely it's finished? even this time. Then betting is closed. The numbers are. Here we go. One and two. Odd. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah. Surely it's even this time. Folks, you finished? Then betting is closed. Four and six even. Nice. There we go. Okay, now we're in the... Uh, and I felt we don't so know. Sharp. Folks, come. Press your bets. I mean, it's literally a 50-50 chance, right? Let's go on. You finished? Then betting is closed. The numbers are... Are you kidding and me? Six, even. Yes. Folks, come. Print. Not again. You finished? Then betting is five and five, even. Dude, I could. Yes. <laughs> Folks, even. You fin it's going to be odd this one. time. Even. Okay, nice. Whew. Dude, look at that foot. Oh my god. Uh, and I felt so sure. Folks, come. Even. You three and six. Odd. odd. Uh, and I felt so sure. Folks, come. All right, we're you going odd. Three and one. Okay. Even. Uh, and I felt so sure. Folks, come. Press your. Odd. You one and one. Even. Are right, you snake eyes? You're kidding. Yes. Next game. I still have the last one lose. more. People. Folks, come. Press your bet. You Odd. Six and six. Even. All right. Literally, I. My. Yes. My luck was literally reversed the entire Next. time. Folks, you three and six. Odd. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? So <laughs> Folks, cop, you've two and two, even. No. Yes. All right, I'm done. I give up. I'm done. I'm done. Well, I had quite a hot hand. How did you fare? Terrible. Terribly. I've had enough. <laughs> ah, fair enough. It's about that time. Stay too long, and you never know what you'll get mixed up in. Yeah, I like having a, a partner in this. It's been hey pretty you. cool. Looks like you're on a roll. Like Want doing missions with companions, I, I love that. It's not their lucky day. Got him. They didn't know what hit them. So, what do you make of the place? There's never any shortage of gamblers to take money from. Come whenever you feel like letting your hair down. See you around. Cool. And we can come back at any time. Another bond acquired. And we got a handgun now, too. Oh, yeah, that's something I needed to equip. Uh, you have a piece of equipment that that you would like to use for a long time, you should consider upgrading at a blacksmith. And also redesign them now too. Oh, I got a, wait, am I using two katanas? Oh no. Yeah, we got a new fighting style for the, um, oh, that's sick. Use the bow and the shuriken. Hmm. Honestly, the stats are double it, so.
What is this? How many fighting styles? Uh, there's a decent amount of fighting styles. So you have a weapons, right? And then you also have fighting styles. So right now I have five fighting styles for the katana. I, I wish the game was full co-op. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. It would be nice if it was actually full co-op. Never used the bow? Yeah, I just got the bow, so I want to try it at least. Especially for some more like stealth encounters or segments. I think that would be pretty cool. The katana definitely has the most fighting styles for me right now. Oh, I see. Wait, I'm just realizing. So right now I have two Jin fighting style types. But then there's Chi, Shinobi, and Ten. Ah, uh, so one of these I should change. Yeah, I see. Because with my pole arm, I have Jin. Shinobi and 10. Right here, I have two Jin styles equipped. I'm going to get rid of the. Yeah, this one then. And then I can either go Chi or Shinobi. I'll go Chi. That way, I have Chi, Jin, 10. Jin, Shinobi, 10. I see. Okay. Someone tells me I want to buy this and be hopelessly addicted. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. The more I play, like, there's some frustrating moments, not going to lie. But the more I play and continue to play, the more fun it becomes. And it, it makes me want to play even more. So, yeah. And I feel like I've progressively been getting better at combat, too. Like Ghost of Tsushima 2 without having to wait for Ghost of Tsushima 2, but just a bit harder to play. Exactly. <laughs> Pretty much. Alright, where is... It keeps saying someone needs assistance. Uh, me. I keep forgetting that you can fast travel too. Frustrating in what way? Combat. Like, the combat's hard sometimes. Like, those two enemies that we just fought, I think I'm a little bit over leveled right now. Um, but countering for certain enemies, like, it is tough. Very, very difficult. Like I, I said it earlier, I'm not going to lie, I, I bumped down the difficulty because it was just, it was more frustrating because I couldn't counter anything than, than fun. So uh, I, I bumped it down. Now, I wonder if you've ever chanced upon any foreign books. As our nation has opened up, there are more and more of them in circulation. It seems there are many tomes about Western technology and weaponry. I'd love to find them. But I'm far too busy inventing. I know! Why don't you search for books for me? Come on, what do you say? They'll no doubt help me improve my tinkering skills. Let's see what he can do. Give foreign books to uh, Igasachi? Did you, I don't know how to say his name. <laughs> Gave him foreign books, books he found. Nice. You haven't locked, unlocked this technology yet? Oh, that's the books that we found earlier. Okay, yeah, I kind of remember these. This allows you to invent the... Oh, okay, invent the camera. Cool. Oh, ho, 
Hold on. Do you have a moment? Sure. I have a little problem that needs solving. Mind if I pick your brains a little? Depends on the reward. I'm listening. Yeah, what well, depends on the reward. I wasn't expecting you to be so mercenary. Well, we're friends, aren't we? <laughs> Just to hear me out. Okay. So, of course, I do have some experience in designing tools for clients, but only for those I trust. And these men, I did not. As you'd expect, I refused. So they demanded I hand over some of my inventions, lest I be drugged off and beheaded. Which is when it came to me, the perfect scheme to get one over on them. However, the plan requires some assistance. Please, can I count on you? Truly, I owe you one. I know this is sudden, but can you come to my hidden storehouse with me? I've left some tools there. Come on. All right, let's be off. Hold All right. it, Iska. I'm right behind you, sir. Hold on. Oh, we got... Uh-oh. Where do you think you're going? Can I can I do a little bit of oh, persuasion? Um just going to pick up some materials. <laughs> you are not fooling anyone, pal. How about I help you concentrate on your work? Can I take them down? Of course, they're barely a threat to you. But do it quickly, please. Hey. So do you could wizard your way out of his bodyguard? I put you down here and now. Okay. Okay, that was pretty sick there. Seems I can't go anywhere alone anymore. I really appreciate you agreeing to help. This way, follow me. Right behind you. Obviously wants an advantage over its enemies, but I thank them not to drag me into their bloody mess. See, it's like the city ground right here looks a little bit I rough. Keep my inventions at my secret storehouse. The land the looks just I very say, bland. There's a decent amount of pop in too, sometimes. But if you focus on the main character and like the world around you, it looks pretty good at times. Come on now. They've served to fool that official for a while, passed off as works in progress. But he's starting to suspect. If this plan doesn't work, well, I think up another one. You coming along? I'm sure all will be well. Not far now. Going up this way. I think the main story has actually been pretty cool so far, though. I mean, it's been good. I really do wish that you could either, like, play the, the entire game co-op, though, or, I mean, like, I haven't tried co-op at all, but I wish you could do the entire thing, or at least have your companions with you, like, your allies that you unlock. Over here. Because that would be pretty cool, too. Why don't you try using this? The darkness? I made it using a western clockwork mechanism. 
It takes in sounds from the surroundings and expresses them visually. It's only a prototype, but you should be able to make good use of it. What's it for? Well, it should allow you to detect foes in hiding or even through solid walls. I'll hide here until it's over. Use my new device well, and you're bound to have the upper hand. Obtain detector. Produces a high-pitched sound when used. Oh, there we go. That's funny. Wait, I was mentioning that, like, earlier. I was literally like, I, I wish there was an, a thing where you could detect enemies and see, like, how far, or how close or far they were. Well, there you go. Totally didn't mean to do that. I thought it was my bow. I thought I had my bow equipped. Apparently not. Dude, that is a game changer right there. Oh no. Now I'm going to be using that a ton. Nice. Got them all. Is clear. Now we can enter the storehouse. Game is this the Rise of the Ronin. All right, let's go with this. It ought to look the part to them. I can't thank you enough for your help, and certainly not with this junk. But if you see anything you like, it's all yours. Okay. Find a gift of thanks. Ah, a fire pipe. Fire pipe. It's oh. a little dangerous. But no right. way. Is Let's that a, actually a flamethrower? No a way that it is. Go ahead and find the pipe at the barrel. <laughs> this game is something else, I swear. Someone's still here. Oh, you don't know that. Hey, 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 Looks like you frightened off the rest of them. I'll leave the fire pipe to you, along with the figuring out how to use it. 
Now we have all the tools we need. The next step is to contact Yukichi Fukuzawa to help as well, and go over the plan with him. Okay. Uh, what kind of plan is this? I'll explain everything soon, but elsewhere. This place has me on edge. Right. Let's split up for now. Got it. Okay. Personal development. You find people throughout the world of the turmoil who harbor strong desires and ambitions. Help them out by completing bond missions to develop their abilities. Leading a string of bond missions for certain characters may earn you special equipment. Cool. Got some more karma converted. All right, let's check our missions now. Okay, we got one more bond mission right here. The main story mission is level five. I'm level 12 right now, <laughs> I guess. I think that's why some of this is a little easier, but that's all good. Hey, I'll take, I'll be over leveled for that. That's fine. Oh, it's all the way up there. You know what? Let's go do the main story. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a little bit ahead. Oh. Okay. Hey. Got to talk to that guy. Hold on, let me actually save real fast. Strengthen your relationship with the anti-shogunite faction uh, will in turn strengthen your anti-shogunite bond. A stronger bond will help you uh, earn special items. Okay, that's kind of what we learned. And that is the shogunite guy. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of different fighting styles. Wait, what is this one? Oxtail blade? I saw that the Odachi is pretty good too. I still like the pole arm though. The pole arm, the only reason I chose the pole arm is because it suggested it to me uh, when I went with my starting class or whatever. All right, let, let me put the bow back on. <laughs> that is kind of crazy though. All right, I'm gonna put the fire one as my secondary. That's wild. Okay. Now that I have this too, I'm actually going to use this right there. Load out two. Loadout 2 can be like this. Evo, you have the name of the vol there. Thank you, thank you. I have seven skill points right now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I haven't really looked at my skill points for a bit now. Kind of just been letting them build up. Okay, cool. Weaken enemies morale down. Let me get that. After dealing a blow, press to build up your primary weapon. Okay, increase weapon proficiency you can acquire. Ooh. Increase damage and key damage dealt by martial skills. Increase the damage dealt by the violet gales. Those are all really good. 
I feel like I should get some of these now. You just check this. Increase the rate of personal and area bonds you can acquire. That's charisma, though. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Yeah, I definitely still prefer uh, Ghost of Tsushima over this game. And I, I'm really looking forward to that coming to PC. So I can finally replay it. But this, this game's still fun, though. It's always fun to, or nice to have something new in this type of genre. The more I've been playing it, the better it's been feeling, too. Combo attack, increase the amount of damage inflicted by combos. I'm going to take this one as well. And this. I think we're pretty much good to talk to this person first. Ghost of Shima definitely, uh, you're back. even though it came out Did so many years ago, it, it even looks better than this game too. But yeah. Huh. Did Ryoma recommend me? I see his ability to connect people still surpasses my own. Listen, I have no problem helping you out. But I'll need a little something in return. Tell me, what do you make of the state of this nation? Here we Ooh. are, with the Western powers circling us as we speak. And yet, the there is going to be a shogunite or anti-shogunite. And no opposition. He is intent on signing a treaty, which will be a disaster for us. This is truly a critical moment for Japan. I know nothing of politics. <laughs> you are right. <laughs> I'm gonna say you're right. So you agree. That makes me feel less alone. Even though the second the one is more realistic. Start for this nation. That is what Master Showing and I have sworn to accomplish. But at this critical juncture, my comrades' whereabouts are unknown. Once that treaty is signed, it will be too late. <sighs> If Sakamoto trusts you, then so will I. Our plan is to kill Harris, the American consul, and halt the negotiations. But in order to do that, we need more able warriors on our side. We would be grateful if you would see fit to join us. I have heard you are seeking the samurai who came on the black ship. I or am. Is that they now serve as one of Harris's bodyguards. Huh? Once we attack the council, the one you seek will undoubtedly appear. This gives us common purpose, does it not? But there is no need to answer right away. If you wish to join us, meet us in front of the American consulate. I hope to see you there. Oh, I see where it's going. I see. So they're the anti-shogunite gang. We could also go over to, yep, story branches. Yeah, this is exactly what I was expecting. There are many people in trouble times who have their own agenda. Choices you make from the protagonist will influence the rewards. You can also receive bonuses, uh, bonds you can develop and influence the outcome. So you have anti-shogunite, neutral missions, and pro-shogunite. So now I can go over to Taka and see what she says. Because I think she is... She might be neutral? Oh, we can help them kill the uh, American consul. 
or do that. All right, see what she says. You're here. Ah, oh, you have returned. I heard something rather interesting from Kichi. The American consulate is in a state of panic. It seems they're bracing for an attack from a group intent on taking Mr. Harris's life. <laughs> a sympathetic soul must have let their tongue slip. Perhaps in the confusion, you could seize the opportunity to close in on Mr. Harris. I am sure the bodyguard with a demon claw will appear soon enough. Intimidate? Why are you telling me this? Yeah, why are you telling me this? Well, why indeed? <laughs> Let's see. I'll arrange to get you into the consulate. You'll join me there, won't you? So what is hers? Is hers... Ooh, hers is pro. Joganite. So there's no neutral aspect to this one, I guess. So I just uh, revealed there's two options for this. There's either we join to help kill the guy or we join to help not kill the guy and just get close to him. I think I'm going to help kill the guy, though. I'm going to do the anti-Shogunite path. It is cool, though, that you, that you do have options like this, though. Makes me even more excited for like when this eventually comes to PC, hopefully. Might be worth playing for a second time, too. Try getting up top. That's pretty much all you missed, though. Just trying to decide what's going on here. Where is this? Here it is. Poncho. All right. Uh, chat, give me like 30 seconds. I'm just going to grab a drink real quick and then we'll run this next mission. So I'll, I'll be right back.
Okay. I'm back, chat. Go ahead and do this. How are you? Oh, so yeah, I think came. the game's pretty good the so far. Are already in position. It seems security is tighter than we expected. Still, if we can get the us, the sun this is rise of the Ronin to appear. If we join the forces. We'll all get what we want. So, what do you say? I'll do it. Splendid. Now, let's wait for our chance. The plot to assassinate Harris. Oh boy. Does it have like suggestions for the mission? I wonder. Increase the damage dealt by sub weapons. Here's the number of bullets that can be loaded into handguns while also adding fire damage to the handgun attack. Obtain money from defeating enemies. I feel like I should bring... Yeah, I'll bring the default, guys. That's fine. Let's just go into it. Go! 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 Alright, let's do it. What the? All right, let's not go that way. You pay. Let's do this. Too long enough. Took care of him. What is happening? Somebody keeps detecting us. That you can knock their hat off. There we go. Where's that coming from? The hell? I think he's fletching a little bit. Ah. 
Trying to figure out how to get in here besides the front door. There's got to be a different way. Yeah, maybe you do have to do the front door. It also seems like they keep glitching because like... It keeps spotting me. No way you're supposed to only go through the front door. I don't believe that. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there's an opening right here. I was gonna say, there, you just get gunned down. They're definitely not supposed to be detecting us like that, though. Here we go. Run! Enemies weakened. Where's the banner? Lay a finger on me! 
What? That's his sister. Colonel Sanders in this too. <laughs> oh boy. Not good enough. Oh boy. It's just too easy. Yeah, it's the same girl that you choose from in the beginning. Like, you customize her, too. Some enemies will swap enemy uh, weapons mid-combat, affecting... Oh, okay. That's the first time we've had somebody switch mid-combat. How about this? <laughs> I came prepared. Report to Katsura. Well, that was pretty epic right there. Yeah, that was, that was pretty cool. Ah, you're alive and well. That is a relief. You know, it seems you really were born lucky. Not that everything went smoothly, of course. Harris got away. I understand. Did you find that samurai who came on the black ship? Uh, perhaps. Yes, but they ran away. Yeah, they ran away. So, even one as gifted as you was foiled. But getting that close to Harris was no minor feat. The Americans were ready for us. It's almost as if someone tipped him off. Stop that nonsense. I know how you feel, but this wild speculation helps no one. 
The treaty will be signed, no doubt. We must accept that. But we will not give up. The Red Demon and the Americans may be looking for you, but we will aid you. We're in the same boat now, after all. Well, until next time. Until next time. Nice. <laughs> Is he gonna be like the main villain now? In spite of Harris's close call, the Treaty of Amity and Commerce was concluded at last. In the end, the Imperial Court did not assent. We did all we could to explain, but our words fell on deaf ears. And now, there are those who would have our heads, who believe we have slighted the Imperial Court. There is no other way. Should the time come when we must atone for this deed, I alone shall pay the price. With this momentous agreement, Japan opened up to the world. Yeah, those story cutscenes are pretty cool. Mission complete. <gasps> Pet the dog. Oh, isn't that the pilgrim dog? Is you it? You can ask the dog to go visit shrines across the land. So, it will take a little time. People will take care of the dog on his journey. So letting them carry some money is a good idea. There's a chance he may receive something in return. The pilgrim Conversely, dog? If you see someone else's pilgrim dog, take care of it. I'm sure something good will happen. Why don't you try it out with this one? Huh. Bond transfer, you have obtained a bond rule and a locked bond transfer option at the blacksmith. Transferring bonds allow you to move special effects from one piece of equipment. That's interesting. Longhouse pilgrim dogs. From your longhouse, affix a money pouch to your pilgrim dog and send it to a shrine in your stead. After a certain amount of time has passed, it will return with silver coins, charms, or other rewards. Ah, that's pretty cool. Here, I'll spend bamboo. 3,000 for bamboo. <laughs> Absolutely worth it there. Is that our longhouse real fast? Hey, what kept you? Oh, so there's different pilgrim dogs you can get. That's actually really cool. So putting items and remodeling your house gives you stat bonuses. So this one gives me a 0.1% item drop increase. And then same thing with this. Frequency that people who like contraptions, who like Western things, this will increase people visiting you. And we could do an armor set here too. I'll do this. Which one is it? Bando Warrior. whole torso sets that you get to oh that one's kind of cool ronin casuals i 
I really like my current one though because it it works so perfectly with being able to see his like shoulder tattoo though. Formal samurai. A lot of people are complaining about this game's graphics. Uh, or is it in general that they're spoiled? They want to complain it. Yeah, I would say honestly though, the graphics do are they are a little bit rough. Not gonna lie. Um, it's definitely a game that doesn't really meet today's standards. And I don't. I never complain about graphics personally, but I get it. Um, there are parts in the game too, though, that it does look good, like. It's just certain areas, uh, or like if you look at the ground, it's pretty bad sometimes. You have some kind of business with me? Something to ask you. Go ahead, ask. Did you steal that at Odachi? Of course I did. What, do you think I could afford it? I'm a no samurai. But in my defense, I wouldn't say I stole. After all, a dead man has no need for a sword, all right? If you take what's not being used, it isn't exactly stealing. True, I guess. How's your financial situation? I uh, earned a bit of money at the gambling den a while back. Oh, the dice shooter there is one fine looking lady. In fact, I gave her all my money just to win her favor. But uh, <laughs> in the end, she ran off with uh, some thug, <laughs> I'm told. Thanks to her, I'm flat broke. Jeez. I have something for you. Do I have something for him? Oh, is this stuff that he would like? It has a heart next to it. Wow, this is great. That is so nice. Having a game that actually tells you items that somebody might like is beautiful. All right, nice. What? You're going so soon. That was cool. Oops. Pay respects. Huh. That's kind of cool. So we got our other bond mission up here. There's more bond missions that have opened up though. Which is cool. Oh, oh, whoa. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to go to save. All right, chat, we are going to actually chill here for right now. Uh, I will be back on in a little bit here. We are going to play some more Dragon's Dogma 2. And then I'm not sure it, we're either going to come back to this tomorrow night or I'll play it again tomorrow morning. Well, it, it's kind of up in the air. Uh, I haven't fully decided just yet, but we're going to play some Dragon's Dogma 2 uh, in about an hour ish and continue on with our journey. And everything as always if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like on the youtube vod makes a huge difference and the closer we get to those 20 likes then the more faster i'll put out episodes again uh it, it really does make a difference we're also 200 subs away from hitting 10k on youtube so if you want to help out with that as well subbing there makes a huge difference it's just cast us plays and it's free to do obviously but i'll be back again thank you all for watching have a good one, and I'll see you in about an hour-ish. Uh, we'll play some more Dragon's Dogma 2. See you then. Peace.